Now, speaking of uh, Audible, that's kind of the best known place now for uh, for audio. Is that where you're putting most of your books? Yeah, so I have everything on Audible, all the audiobooks. The nice thing is, though, you don't have to be exclusive to them, meaning you don't have to only pick them. I choose what's called a non-exclusive deal, mm-hmm. which means I can be on Audible, and I am, but also in Amazon, which Amazon owns Audible, uh, but then also on iTunes, on other audiobook retailers. There's places where... Um, like I'm making sales on websites that I've never visited. Like I've never sent a, a click of traffic to it. And I remember seeing like hundreds of dollars coming in uh, from some of these lesser known websites over, you know, it's not like a ton of money, but there'd be like an extra 150 bucks coming in one month. And I'm like, I don't, I've never sent any traffic to these sites. People are just kind of like these obscure random audiobook websites. So uh, that's a, another benefit when there's not as much competition, not to say that, there's a guarantee people are going to stumble upon the book, but I just noticed that started to happen. Like people are finding it on these other places. So all that's to say, I like having the book as wide as possible, meaning as many different places, which can mean you sell it on your own, but you sell it on audible, you sell it, you, you, you put it out to these different places and you don't have to go upload to like 30 different places. If you use a, a website, like a, a distributor, find away voices um, is, is, one of the places and I, I really like it. So find a way voices where you go and you upload it and they, they say, where do you want to distribute this? And you can just check all the different places and it'll, you, you upload to one website, find a way voices, they push it out to all the other websites. So it's so a one time upload, maybe two times if you upload to a, a couple of different distributors uh, and they push it out to all the different places. Yeah. It's, it's very similar to podcasting. Like, uh, you know, I upload to Libsyn and it shows, throws it out everywhere for you. So it's uh, it's it's not hard to do that. Now, can you talk about how much you can make on this? And is it true that the longer the book, the more money you can make? Or how does it how do you get paid for this kind of stuff? Yeah, so 